Today we're talking about mule deer habitat. Mule deer can be found across most of Western North America. What's unique about mule deer is that they occupy a very diverse level of habitats. You can find them in thick timber, high alpine environments, moist, dense coniferous forests, shrublands, open grassland plains, and yes, you can even find them in the desert. So types of range habitat that you'll find mule deer a lot of times consist of sagebrush, pinyon juniper, mountain browse, and aspen environments. So you can look at habitat and you should think instantly to yourself, how do mule deer utilize the terrain as the seasons change? Again, mule deer can live in a wide variety of different habitats. So it's important to look at what season you have a tag for and in what state as each state can be vastly different. So don't overlook each habitat type throughout the year. Depending on the area, mule deer can also be found at low sagebrush canyon slash coulee country year round. So don't overlook low elevation areas when trying to find a hidden gem mule deer spot. All this information is very valuable depending on the type of tag you have. For example, if you're an archery hunter, early season mule deer are typically found at higher elevations in the mountains. Uh, once October comes, bucks will start to drop down slightly in elevation and will start to work different terrain types and are usually found in thicker terrain than during the summer months. Then in November, bucks will even be lower as they start to search out does. But just because a rut might be on doesn't mean that bucks will be standing out in the open. You'll still need to pay attention to cover and quality edge habitat is very key during that time of year. All right, now let's break down some mountain habitat zones. So first off, I feel like I should define an elevation band in my terms. Since I'm a mule deer hunter, my definition for an elevation band is usable habitat during a certain core time period of a mule deer seasonal needs to survive. So one of the main aspects of my digital scouting, especially for mule deer hunting, is utilizing elevation bands to quickly narrow down an area to hunt based on the time of year that I have a tag. And what the greatest thing is, Go Hunt Maps, in this case, has you covered. So Go Hunt's elevation bands are layers that are separated into 1,500 foot sections. You can utilize these in a plethora of ways by turning on one layer at a time or turning them all on at once to get a big picture view of an entire state. So for example, if you're looking at a high, high country mule deer hunt, you can simply select the higher elevation bands and instantly see where in the unit or state those elevation bands can be found. That can give you a great starting point on where you want to hunt if you have an early season hunt. So various types of mule deer zones, these are going to be broken out into summer alpine zones, so that's like 10,000 to 13,000 feet. You have your subalpine zone, 9,000 to 11,000. Dark timber, pine and aspen, 7,000 to 11,500. Transition zone, 6,000 to 9,000 feet. And your sagebrush winter range zone, which is typically 4,000 to 7,000 feet. And that can vary depending on the state you're hunting at. Again, at the end of the day, mule deer seek out places with quality feed. And utilizing go hunt maps is a great way to start to hone in areas you will hunt based on the season and tag that you have when you're trying to determine what habitat types that you want to start keening on with the tag that you have.